very much. Uh, joining us now, Senator Jack Reed. He's the, uh, a Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, ex officio, as they say. He's also the ranking Democrat of the Armed Services Committee. Thanks so much for joining us, Senator. Thanks, Will. It's a pretty stunning revelation once again today from the nation's uh, cyber chief, uh, Admiral Mike Rogers, the head of the National Security Agency, uh, that he has not received an order from the president of the United States to stop Russian cyber threats. Uh, what could explain that? Well, it's very difficult to explain. Uh, Admiral Rogers uh, said very directly that we are currently being uh, attacked by uh, Russian-directed cyber forces. Their intent is to disrupt the election. They're much more sophisticated than they were in 2016. They've learned a lot, and they're coming in. It's going to get worse before the election. Uh, and yet, he has not uh, been asked to take action. He has the ability to disrupt these activities at the source. And also, we know that the White House has not invoked sanctions that the Congress passed on a strong bipartisan basis to help, uh, we hope, stop these cyber probing. So the White House seems to be absolutely paralyzed in the face of uh, ongoing Russian intrusion into our elections and to try to undercut our basic institutions. Let me play a little bit more of your questioning of Admiral Rogers earlier in the day. Listen to this. Essentially, we have not taken on the Russians yet. We're, we're, we're watching them intrude in our elections, spread misinformation, become more sophisticated, uh, try to achieve strategic objectives that you have recognized, and we're just essentially sitting back and waiting. I don't know if I would characterize it as we're sitting back and waiting, but I, I will say it's probably, and again, I apologize, I don't want to right. get into the classified here. Um, it's probably fair to say that we have not opted to engage in some of the same behaviors that we are seeing. So, uh, Senator Admiral Rogers uh, is making it clear the U.S. has not made Russia pay a price for meddling in the U.S. presidential election, getting ready to meddle, they say, the U.S. intelligence community in the upcoming midterm elections uh, in November and the 2020 presidential elections. Uh, so how do you explain that? Why not make them pay a price? What, what are you hearing? Well, I'm, I'm not hearing much, but it, it seems that the White House is, is paralyzed, that they're, they're not taking effective action. And there's several different ways. One, you could invoke sanctions, to make an economic cost to the, the Russians. Two, you could basically stop these attacks or make them more difficult. And as Admiral Rogers suggested, to the extent we just sit by and do nothing, they get more and more aggressive. And this could be related to the you know, the fact that the, the president is so preoccupied with trying to distance himself from the 2016 election and the facts the intelligence community found about Russian involvement that he refuses to recognize the facts as the other day, which is we are being not only probed, we are being attacked by Russian-directed cyber forces. And we have to do something because they'll get worse before they get better. But this represents a, a, an abdication of his responsibilities to at least ask for recommendations from his entire cabinet and present a coordinated effort to deter, stop, and defeat these intrusions. Well, you know, the president's explanation has all, always been uh, that this is just an excuse that the Democrats and Hillary Clinton have come up with to belittle his election uh, uh, and, and the, the fact that he was elected president of the United States. Uh, and, and that's why he calls this overall investigation a witch hunt, uh, as you know, a hoax. Uh, when, he, when you hear that, what goes through your mind? It is a complete uh, uh, dismissal of facts and uh, professional judgments by people who are not politicians. Admiral Rogers is a career naval officer. He's dedicated his whole life to this nation and the United States Navy. He spoke honestly as a professional, saying that we are being uh, attacked by the, the Russians, by cyber operations. This is the opinion of our intelligence community. I had the same basic dialogue with the FBI director, with Dan Coates, the DNI, with Mike Pompeo, CIA. They're all basically will tell you we are under assault right now. And, and the president dismissed this as some type of, you know, uh, 2016 political dynamic is just uh, consciously, deliberately ignoring the facts. And, and, and you, you raise the point about the U.S. 
uh, under, under U.S. law, the president signed it into law, could impose sanctions against Russia, but he's delaying, he's refusing to do so. Last August, the Senate passed the new sanctions against Russia because of election meddling. I think the vote was 98 to 2. In the House, I think it was 419 to 3. He reluctantly signed it into law, but since then has done nothing. How do you explain that? Again, I think it's all caught up in this uh, attempt to uh, undercut allegations about the 2016 election. I think he might be afraid that if he recognizes the fact and imposes punishment on Russia for their current activities, that will totally undercut his version of the 2016 events that, you know, there was no Russian involvement. Uh, he, he won the election simply based upon his policies and his promises and his programs, and the reality is different. Uh, but the danger, not only the danger, the reality is that while nothing is done, the Russians become more aggressive, threatening our basic institutions. Nothing's more basic than the, a free election in the United States or anyplace else, and they're doing it deliberately to undermine our, the confidence of the American people in our elections and our political process. And we have to take effective action, whether it's sanctions, whether it is uh, disrupting their attack. That's that's an operational judgment. We we have to do something. Senator Jack Reed, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Will.